In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the analysis of six pulse converter or grids converter without overlapping. In the last class, we have seen the grids converter. This is one complex group which is consisting of three SCR, T1, T3, T5. This is another complex group which is consisting of T2, T4, T6. This inductor we are keeping a DC side to decrease the harmonics in a DC current. Nothing but a smoothing inductor. This voltage is nothing but a DC voltage. We are assuming that the T3 is on at a firing angle alpha. After 60 degrees of on of T3, we are applying the triggering pass to the T4. After 60 degrees on of a T4, we are applying the triggering voltage to the T5. After 60 degrees, we are giving a triggering voltage to the T6. Again, after 60 degrees, we are giving a triggering voltage to the T1. Next, after 60 degrees, we are giving a triggering pass to the Once the valve is on, it has to conduct a 1.8 degrees for the continuous conduction. To so analyze the circuit, we have taken the sum of the adjunctions. We are assuming that the DC current is constant. These valves are ideal valves, nothing but a the voltage drop across the valve is zero. If it is on, the on state resistance is zero. If it is off, the on off state resistance is infinite. The AC voltage is a pure sinusoid. So with these assumptions, we are going to analyze this circuit. The one cycle of the AC voltage is consisting of six pulses of a DC voltage. That's why we are calling it as a it is a six pulse converter. If we are assuming the T3, T2 is conducting, the output voltage becomes a VBC. This is equal to VB minus BC. We have taken the reference voltage VBA. This is e, this we can write mathematically root to ELL sin omega T. ELL is nothing but a RMS line voltage. So we want the BC voltage. So VBC leads this voltage by 60 degrees. This we can write mathematically VBC equal to root to ELL sin omega T plus 60 degrees. So one cyclic operation is nothing but 60 degrees to find the average output voltage 1 by base length nothing but a 3 by 5 integral alpha to alpha plus 60 degrees we are integrating this expression with respect to the d omega t root 2 el is constant take outside and find the integration for the sine omega t minus 60 and substitute the limits we are getting the cos of alpha plus 60 minus cos of alpha plus 120 degrees if we simplify this one, we are getting that Vd equal to 1.35 EL cos alpha. This we can write it as a maximum DC voltage, which can be occurred the firing angle alpha equal to the zero. So this term we are representing as a Vd zero. So Vd equal to Vd zero cos alpha. The output voltage we can control by changing the firing angle alpha. By changing the firing angle alpha, it will change the output voltage from positive value to the negative value. The firing angle has turned the 90 degree. The output voltage becomes a positive, which gives a rectifier operation. The firing angle more than the 90 degree. The output voltage becomes a negative. There is no change in the direction of the DC current, which gives the notar operation. Now we are going to see the DC voltage. By changing the firing angles here, alpha equal to 0 here. Alpha equal to 45 degrees, alpha equal to 90 degrees, alpha equal to 135, alpha equal to 180. These are the output voltage waveforms of the grid converter. We can find the six pulses in a one cycle. These voltage waveforms are nothing but a, the voltage across the wall. The output voltage waveform, even though it is not a pure DC, it has some amount of harmonics. The harmonic order in a output DC voltage that is equal to h equal to n into p where n is nothing but a integer that will be changing from 1 to 3 p is nothing but a pulse number 6 pulse converter here so p value becomes a 6 the rms voltage of h the order harmonic vh equal to vd naught root 2 by h square minus 1 into 1 plus h square minus 1 into sin square alpha 4 power 1 by 2 if we observe here P equal to 6. If we take the 1, so the first, first harmonic order is the 6. If we take 2, n equal to 2, the second harmon order of the harmonic is 12. Nothing but 6, 12, 18, 24. Like that, the harmonics will be placed in a output voltage. 
if we observe the voltage across the wall you can find the three jumps in output voltage this is one jump this is another jump this is another jump three jumps the jumps in voltage is occurs across the voltage due to the commutation of the another devices the same commutation group the magnitude of all these jumps are almost all equal the magnitude is equal to vj equal to root 2 ell sin alpha because of this jump in voltage the stress will be developed across the wall that stress we are relieving by using the damper circuit across the wall current wave form this is the current wave form which is passing through the wall as well as the primary winding and secondary winding of a transformer but this wave form is not a pure sine it is also consisting a harmonics the rms value of fundamental current for this wave form from the fourier analysis i1 equal to 1 by root 2 2 by pi integral minus y by 3 to pi by 3 id into cos theta d theta this is equal to root 6 by pi id this is a fundamental compound for the rms of two voltage so suppose if you want to find out the h third or harmonic means the fundamental compound divided by the h where h is nothing but order of the harmonic for this wave form if you find the rms value of current means we are getting the root 2 by 3 id the harmonics presented in this wave form is equal to n into p plus or minus 1 where p is nothing but pulse number n is nothing but integer see in this case the pulse number is 6 so if you take n equal to 1 we are getting the 5 and 7 harmonics if we getting n equal to 2 we are getting the 11 and 13 harmonics next we are getting the 15 and 17 like that these are order of the harmonics are nothing but a lower order of harmonics these are harmonics we can filter out by using the tuned filter or damp filter which are connected at the primary winding of a transformer so that this harmonics will be eliminated high order harmonics we can eliminate it by using only the high order filters power factor of the converter so power taken by the converter p is equal to root 3 ell i1 cos pi where pi is nothing but the angle between ell and i1 where i1 is nothing but a fundamental component of current we know the dc power p dc equal to vd into id if we neglect the losses in the converter the input power equal to the output power we are equating those two parameters we are getting the so vd id that is equal to 1.35 ell cos alpha into id equal to root 3 id root 3 i by root 2 this is equal to root 3 ell i1 cos pi we are taking the same value here we simplify this one finally you are getting the cos alpha equal to cos pi see from this expression the power factor of the converter is highly depending upon the firing angle of the converter the firing angle is increases the power factor of the converter also will be changes suppose if alpha equal to 0 then the power factor is 1 you know the power factor it does not require any reactive power suppose if the firing angle alpha equal to 90 degrees then the cos pi equal to 1 the converter requires only the reactive power in this manner the reactive power taken by the converter that is also be controlled by the alpha so thank you very much for watching this video